Hey guys, this is a um, live recording. Well, this is the four v four on Lipany. It was French, English, HRE, and Chinese. We we're Mongols, English, Chinese, French. So we're really fairly even spread. The only difference really is Mongols and HRE. Mm. It's really not a, a trading sieve here besides the mine. I mean, France is trading sieve, but a lot of people seem to still be favoring France as a aggressive feudal play. So what we're going to try to do this game is um we're going to try to boom up as much as possible. I played a bunch of um team games recently and I feel like the early aggression does okay, but it's not. It usually just gets so late that sometimes you're just setting yourself behind for a bigger push by your opponent. So in 3v3s, in 4v4s for sure, I think the move is to boom. In 3v3s, I think the idea is to still kind of at least contemplate the boom. Almost forgot. Okay, we got a good sheep hole. So the idea here on this um, strat is to go to TC as quickly as possible. I'm surprised about our vision. Our team's kind of vision on the map is not very good. Gonna age up or reposition our symmetry. I'm 
Blue is English or French. He's going for 2TC. Yeah, so I think that's kind of the idea. I mean, our timing would be so late. We're not going to really stop the TC. We might stop the TC, but it's, it's more relying on him messing up and not um, taking the, the correct steps. Just keep harvesting our wood here. Let's see what our allies doing. Looks like he's diving down. TCs are expensive as Mongols, but getting a decent timing on it. TC should be right over here. He's pulling all of his villagers. So just come over here. Let's just get a forward scouting position. Three on gold is plenty. Yeah, one guy is starting to build production buildings. I think we still are looking just to go to Fast Castle here. Fast Castle, Fast Aim. I keep producing more food, our food production is a little slow. Let's see, we're kind of maxed out on our keeping our cheap, our cheesy production just going. But we're cranking out a lot of bills. So much is still going. I want you to build this and I want you to come over here and build more infrastructure. That's definitely going to affect our, our timing a little bit. But we're going to transition to food on other places. It's going to be it's definitely going to be helpful. Just scouts. So um, we do want to build uh, some mangadai. Let's send them over here when we can, which is hopefully soon. I'm a 
We're just gonna fall back our con. We gotta kinda defend this trade line. Our food is starting to get pretty good. Okay, food's from the cut up. Drop this off, come over here. We're just going to build Magnet to defend our uh, trade line while we boom. Uh, if we want researches, let's see, wheelbarrow 150 gold, so let's sell some food. Get that going. Okay, we're definitely maxing out good. Okay, nothing to see there. Oh, 
Triple Rangers were working overtime there. Is there a market around here? There's no markets to trade with.
No, we don't need food, wood, gold, everything.
Ooh, the guy's in a nice pincer there. That was a nice move. But we are gonna raid their mines now. The villagers, so we should be able to do some good damage. Yeah, so that double TC, they've had some idle time here. The village is standing around. Um, but yeah, the double the double TC, I think, in 4v4 matches, is a little bit more effective. Really gets your eco going. Um, and even if you're just raiding, like, you know, they sent mass knights and stuff, as long as I get the castle age in a decent time to help push against that and kite those units, you know, that helps keep guys alive. And then... Um, once you hit amp, you actually start you actually start doing some serious damage with those manga die. Actually, start chewing up through knights and men at arms. And since it's a big map, you got a little bit more space to run. You can survive under keeps. You can idle eco for days. So, um, yeah, that uh, worked out pretty well. Um, let's see, military kills. Yeah, we got a lot of kills that game. Uh, kind of surprised we had the most. I thought maybe our, uh, the purple or the red would. But yeah, they got second play. I can see why. But yeah, we had a ton of kills, and most of those were. Um, I mean, some of them were choking news, some of them were nice and stuff, but a lot of those were villager kills, so. And not with a huge military force either. Um, it says my army was 216. Not entirely sure how that works, but. Um, or maybe that's just total units made throughout the game. Maybe that's what it is. So. Um, yeah, it was a good match. Village account, a little bit of a spike here. That's right before he quit. He was getting pushed hard. But yeah, this is where these, these big drops in villages were happening. Blue got chewed up a little bit. Purple got chewed up. So those little those little attacks. Yellow, I didn't really get a chance to hit. I think right here I hit a little bit, one pocket of like his wood villages or something. But it wasn't too much. Blue lost quite a bit when he was dropping that keep. So it's a good game overall. We're going to get trade established on the... On the other side, I probably could have moved these. They did a good job walling them and cutting our trade off pretty early. And we had to start mining gold. But uh, Pink did a really good job holding that one push too, as well as Fence. Um, Orange player was pushing up the gut. He was doing a really good job pushing too. English, so, you know, he's nice and steady. And the China, you know, China did a good job too holding against them. 
a couple of stone walls, so you did have to slow it down. He's got a nice little mountain pass over here too, so yeah, it was a good game, and uh, I think I got up to almost plat two. So, anywho, um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.